morning. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's good to see everybody out there. I hope you're all tuned in. Boy, have we got an exciting, ah, one might even call it a magical, magical show. show for you today. No. So yeah, <laughs> so welcome to a visit with Santa and Mrs. Claus. We're just so glad you could join us today. And yeah, we've got, we have an very oh, exciting you're, you guys show. are going to have some fun today. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and so are we, I know, because <laughs> we've been, we've been chatting with our guests already we today. Have. And boy, we have. Tell, we are just coming up with all kinds of questions, which brings up the point. Yes. Do share and comment, and please, if you have a question for our guests, as I'm sure you're going to, put your comments yeah. in, and we'll try and get them the answer while you're here, uh, or while they're here. So <laughs> even better, <laughs> and we're here too. Yes. <laughs> but but please, I mean, I don't want to wait any longer. No. We have got to introduce our very special guests, Terry Evanswood. And Guy, uh, I'm sorry, Windsor. Windsor, of course, like in Windsor Castle, Guy yeah, Windsor from <laughs> the Grand Majestic. Yes. So welcome, yes. guys. Thank oh, you. thank you for being thank here. You. My pleasure. Oh, I'm our... always happy to appear whenever <laughs> the request comes in. It's a magician thing. It All right. is. It well, is. and and we were talking before the show, and honest to God, these guys have been in Pigeon Forge. For a quarter century. <laughs> Don't give away my secrets. Oh, I have to. And some of them anyway. So Because after all, I'm magical too. But That's true. <laughs> That's true. true. But anyway, but seriously, you, uh, Terry, you're opening this weekend, is it uh, not? We are. Saturday at 2 o'clock is my very first show for this season. And we are at the Majestic Theater, which is a big change and an exciting one. And tell us how that came about or, or you know. Well, uh, I, you know, I started here 25 years ago. See, as the, told you. Yeah, as the <laughs> first and only magic show. Uh, and that was back at Eagle Mountain Theater. Mm -hmm. You can tell them about, remember that? Yeah, absolutely. Now, uh, where was Eagle Mountain Eagle Theater? Eagle Mountain sat up on the hill uh, and featured a country music show with Jim Ed Brown and Helen Cornelius uh, oh. and Con Hunley. And then uh, Terry came in and started their daytime show. Uh, and oddly enough, I was an original cast member in that production. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And, yeah. So you guys have and been working together. now he's my boss. Yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of role reversal. <laughs> Turnabout is fair play. <laughs> it is, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you never know what the future holds. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. exactly. Right. So we started there, and, uh, and after that run, that was... Uh, Two years. Two years then. And then I moved to Country Tonight Theater doing their daytime show, and I believe that's when we first met. No, uh, no actually we came afterward. You had your own theater. Okay, I, I can't so remember I, the did, name uh, I did eight years at Country Tonight Theater, and then I moved to Magic Man Belief Theater. It was the first magic show for yes, that building. That's where that's, that's, that's where we met. Yes, that's is. where we met. Yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. And that was I remember over a decade your, ago. Your sleigh was parked on the top of that building with the tiger up there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that wasn't that. easy, you yeah. know, and especially made the reindeer very nervous. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were just like this <laughs> when we <laughs> got there. Trust me, it made like, me nervous, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I was tiger there. seemed happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but audience members were disappearing. I think that's why the tigers were happy. <laughs> You know, I think it could have been. <laughs> had something to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> so that was a three-year run. Okay. And then I moved to uh, Wonderworks. Yes. And was there for a decade. Ten Gosh. years went by <laughs> like that. That's it doesn't seem possible. In the blink of an eye. Yeah. It doesn't. See, yeah. Exactly. It just doesn't. That's kind of like possible. like life. You have to pay attention, or it just goes through. It you know, does. Goes away. It does. So uh, ten years there, and now at the Majestic Theater. So a total of 25 years. Uh, you, you might say after Eagle Mountain Theater, Country Tonight, Magic Bound Belief, and now uh, Majestic, I'm, I'm the only magician touring Pigeon Forge. That's, <laughs> how, that, uh, that's how that well, works. I, I hadn't you know, thought about it that way, Terry. It's, it's funny because it's true. And you it's still true. have a lot of theaters to go. Well, they're, they're getting uh, less and less, but now I think I'll go back to Eagle Mountain and just keep doing yeah, this. Just run. start on the hill yeah, and go back around and, yeah, and start do the circuit. Again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and really guys, you know, you've been in a lot of different shows. In mm -hmm. fact, you and I met at, you know, here 
yes. uh, while you were doing the sil silver bow. Correct. So, and tell us a little bit about what you're doing now and, and well, where you, I know you guys have kind of interacted back and yeah. forth, but how's that uh, worked out for you? Uh, I was raised here, uh, Sevier County High School graduate, so I was local to the area. Started in uh, actually at Dollywood, performing back in the day, wow. uh, and then joined into Terry's show. Uh, and then when you doing characters at Dollywood? Did you? Ch I remember you did Chaplin. Yeah, was it one of your characters? Yeah, Owen? Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. And, yeah. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. He can take yeah. on various characters. Always has been able to. Oh, wow. Okay. It's because I don't really know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to the club. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's not go down that road. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the uh, the magic show, and then I was at Country Tonight with the magic show as well, and then oh, wow. I okay. departed to uh, go off into the world and try and be an adult. Um, and what how'd that work out for you? What are you in? Well, I'm back here. So, <laughs> oh, so <laughs> obviously, yeah, this was yeah. more fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's good <laughs> to be home in the house. His <laughs> resume is very impressive. Tell them about um, some of the places. Yeah, I went to work for Disney Entertainment, uh, doing multiple things, some of which I can't talk about. Right. Um, and uh, then toured overseas in Tokyo for the Disney parks. Uh, oh boy! Went to oh, Los wow. Angeles. Uh, did a lot of film and television out there. Um, some very recognizable shows: Desperate Housewives, uh, Las Vegas, uh, CSI Miami. Oh um, yeah! And uh, then mm -hmm. went to work for Universal Studios, doing some character work and improvisation. Uh, then toured with them over to their Singapore park, and uh, then I came back home to the mountains, and I'm really glad to be home. It's you great. You know what, that travel, you know, from my observations of his career and resume, what those travels have allowed is for him not to only expand his stage and performance capability, mm -hmm. but also learn the business of show business. Right. And I always right. tell people that business is two words, show and business. And unfortunately, business is the bigger the of the bigger two words. Two. Yeah, I can is. have a show but without the business, there's no show. And if it's just business, it, it, it has to be one or the other. And uh, for him, he's got what he brings to the table for now, my performance, is both. So he understands what I need from a stage point of view, what it requires to pull off my show because years ago he was actually a part of it. Right. Although the show has evolved and grown over the years, mm -hmm. he already understands magic and understands how a magician works, but also the marketing aspect. So it's mm -hmm. really a good collaboration. It sounds like it, and, and you're right, Terry, that you know, uh, so often, uh, even, even with us, with our books, um, you know, we've always uh, kind of laughed and said the easy part was to actually create the books. Right. <laughs> the right. hard part is the marketing and getting them out there. And, and, I'll and the business I'll tell side. You why, that, business why that side. is for you, I'm sure, and also for performers is because people who are, are, uh, are more apt to be creative are passionate about that. Yes. So yes. there's a driven passion yes. that, that will keep you going, and that's how I am about magic. But then you find that you have to market it. So I can guarantee you from what you're saying, you're passionate about writing. Yeah. You're passionate about sharing those stories and interests, especially with our youth. You right. were telling me before the show started, one of the main reasons you started uh, creating this Santa time yes. with, uh, with the unfortunate situation we're in. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and that's it. And Trying we to appeal to the, to the families and make the kids feel better about right. Right. Which you guys really need to. Don't yeah. get nervous. Don't get scared. Things are going to work out. Yeah. We're going to get through all of this. And we have wonderful people to help us. Like these guys that are going to keep you laughing. So <laughs> <laughs> Now. now oh, oh, go ahead. After you. Okay. After me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the questions uh, I wanted to ask you, Terry, and, and we talked a little bit about this before this show. But you have been here 25 years. So how do you keep your magic alive and talking about your passion? So yeah. what's your secret to that? Well, again, I guess the number one reason that I'm still doing what I do is because I love this. You know, I started this when I was a kid. Uh, my parents gave me a magic set for Christmas and, uh, or maybe it was from Santa. It could have been. Maybe they provided it through Santa to me. 
But uh, I remember bringing you a few things like that. So. Right. <laughs> I'm not surprised. And you kept asking me for rabbits. <laughs> yeah, they tend to disappear. Oh, that didn't. But I, I, I really, I, I had no other skills. I wasn't really great academically or, or in the sporting arena. But magic, I took to right away. I loved what I loved about it is seeing other people's reaction. This is a key. It wasn't just the trick or the method or or. Uh, making the effect, it was the reaction that magic gets. That's what was so cool about it. That's what was special for me as a kid, being able to finally do something that other people would react to uh, in a positive way. Right. Either amazed, scratching their head, or, or laughing. Uh, this is really the idea of the purpose of a magician. So I stuck into, you know, into that, that mold of trying to create that moment of fantasy, imagination, wonder, delight, that experience that typically only a magician can bring. Certain people love the ballet. Certain people love uh, drama. There's all these different aspects of entertainment and different uh, vehicles, different modes of entertainment. And for me, it just became magic. Uh, that was really the, the point. So now, to answer your question, here, after 25 years and... 7,500, and I've lost count, over 7,500 shows, you're asking me how do I stay interested wow. and alive. Yeah. Wow. There, but I'll tell you how. There is not a show, and I can promise you that, and other entertainers who have had long runs will have to tell you the same thing. When I'm waiting to appear, and the curtain, that overture's playing, and the curtains get ready to part, the butterflies are already going in my stomach. And I've told many people, including Guy, the day that I don't have those butterflies in my stomach is the day that I know I'm done. That is the true energy and love for a performer. So uh, what's different for me, the passion is the same. The butterflies and the excitement and that nervous, good nervous uh, uh, excitement will always be. What changes for me is the audience. They think they're watching me. Are you kidding? I'm watching them. <laughs> so, and the audience is different every show. Every show, for me, the curtain opens, and it's like a new magic trick. They might be seeing my magic for the first time, but I'm seeing them for the first time, and I love watching them. You know, you have all kinds of people. You have the people that drop their mouth open, or their eyes go real wide, or they're amazed. <laughs> then you got this guy going, impress me. You know, and that's the guy that I'm really focused on. <laughs> And you always do. And you always manage to impress that person. Well, yeah. you're, now you're easy to impress amazing. because <laughs> being Santa, you love magic, and so it's kind of natural for you. Well, of course, of course. It, and, and, it and is just, true. You know, and, we and have a, a true, we both admire performers yeah, yeah. That, that can do your job the way you do and the talents that you have that Thank God's yes. given yes. you. Thank you. Which yes. is just amazing. Well, you're and, like big kids. We, I mean, we are. I was do. just going to say, I think that, that uh, you and I are probably <laughs> the ones in the audience going. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ones with the mouth. Yeah, going, right now. wow. Uh, did, you, did you see that? And <laughs> I do. You know what? I remember your show going, did you see that? Did you, I, I don't did know how he did that. that. <laughs> and that is the magic. And, and it, it is. And you're right. So we're, also, we're, also the dancing and the singing and everything We try else to combine that, that, a little yeah, bit of every of type of entertainment in the show to make it just a little bit more than a magic show. Right. There are a lot of magicians who just perform one trick after another for my next trick, for my next trick, for my next yeah. trick. And there's not enough variety. Yeah. We have beautiful girls in the show, Jessica and Samantha. Uh, yes. just brings so much to the table. Uh, both behind the scenes and on stage, they are really uh, mm -hmm. seriously in involved in the magic show and making a success. So we have a tight little family. Uh, TJ running things, uh, Samantha and Jessica helping you know make the magic on stage, and my stage manager who have been, has been with me for years, Mike Phillips, right. is also so involved on and off stage. You know they're back there hustling, they're moving props, mm -hmm. helping with costume changes, loading illusions, pushing the smoke machine, open curtains. I mean they're really they all stay busy, and that's one of the ways I designed the show on purpose for it to be a little family and not not a hundred people who have to all be in sync. Right. It's right. just us. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're watching out for each other and I'm watching the audience. You know, one of my favorite types of people in the crowd, I don't know if we've ever talked about, is, is not this guy or the, the person in awe, but this parent. Oh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. 
I'm not offended at all. They're not watching me. They're watching. I love their it kids. when a parent goes like this and they're watching the kid. They're watching now that's the kids. magic. That that's, is that is the biggest compliment because that father, or that mother, is willing to let go of their uh, their attention and their experience of childlike wonder to live it through the eyes of their child. Mm -hmm. yes. That's yes. true love. And, yes. and that's yes. always the most wonderful thing is to be able to talk to children after the show and get yes. their impressions yes. and, and yes. just see the wonder yes. and the awe. You must see it all the time as Santa. You we know, do. We are when, very blessed that when way. When these yeah. children walk up to you, yes. I'm sure they're just all the time. They're, they're going to yeah. meet Santa Claus and his <laughs> wife. It, it's it, funny it, how they'll stare at your beard and your yeah, eyes. And they're, yeah. they're, they're, it's like they're trying to memorize you. Yeah, yeah. And you've seen that for sure. It's like, wow, you're really magical. What makes you magical? You know, yeah. so they'll stare at you <laughs> to, to try and remember yeah. There's something. There's some funny, very the kids' stories are the best. Oh, they're yeah. just, they're the best. Um, I, I would agree with, with, with you on that. And, and, uh, and, you know, it is, and I think that's, again, a lot of, uh, the passion that we have it is from the children uh, i'll tell you i'll tell you one you were talking about how important that what we do and what we say in front of children will make a lasting impression yes. uh, parents uh, the adults teachers preachers we have to be very aware and very careful of of what we say in front of kids it because is. we are making a lifetime impression on them and i know that from the number of kids who come back every year to see the show or multiple times the amount of repeat business of people coming back because you're of the way you make them feel they might not remember specifically a trick that I did or a joke that I said but they will remember the way they felt when they saw the show or when they met you it's a great responsibility to be responsible for the way children perceive you I'll give you a perfect example that just happened last week I don't know if I told you this one mm. true story a very dear friend of mine who brings her daughter to the show regularly I'd say she's about probably seven years old so at that point where she's starting to question a lot of things you know if children are too young they don't get it because yeah. there's a woman floating it maybe that's how things work <laughs> You know, there's That's an age, there's yes, an age cutoff, is. except for uh, Mr. and Mrs. Claus. Yeah. There is an age uh, cutoff where kids realize, okay, a lady shouldn't be able to float in the air, but there she is. Then they feel the awe and wonder yes. right. when they know what's possible and what's not. Right. Well, so and as, not to interrupt you, but as Glenn uh, Cothran says, you know, there's a child in all of us. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to see is to bring back that child. Yes. And this to yes. feel that yeah. sense of awe yes. and wonder and and magic that that we've somehow yeah. lost well we're getting a lot of comments from from sue and, and um thank you for answering guy i appreciate you doing and Hi, she sue. says she's going to come and see you guys soon so now yeah. i think why don't we take a little break you know have some water and relax for a second and we'll be right back and boy i'll tell you what if you guys have some questions for Terry and Guy, this is such an opportunity that that you can get to find out some things, uh, you know, even before the show starts. Yes. And we're yeah. getting a lot of likes and love, so keep watching with us, and we'll be back just right after this.
Hello, I'm Joe Moore, TV host on Mountain Fun Life Channel and the international multi-award winning author. As co-host of Storytime with Santa and Mrs. Claus, I draw on my writings describing the North Pole and all its adventures from my Santa Claus trilogy. Each book in the set will provide you hours of thrilling, delightful fantasy that will return you to being a child again. Available in hardcover, softcover, or digitally, these books can be purchased wherever fine books are sold, or if you want an autographed copy through the NorthPolePress.com. Pick up one or all three of the books and believe again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, we're, we're having so much fun. I, I'm, I hope I you guys are too. Boy, we I, are. You know, I, I could go on like this for hours with these two. <laughs> Boy, they are they are absolutely super. We're we're having fun, and I I, I think that probably uh, comes back to to you as well at home. So, uh, but yeah, so let's. Uh, so getting now, I want to get back to Guy for a second. You sure. know, because. What are some of the things you are doing right now, besides running the whole marketing department for the Grand Majestic? I mean, what what shows are you doing and what are you doing? Well, the Grand Majestic is home to four fantastic shows. Of course, now we have uh, The Magic of Terry Evanswood uh, as one of our shows. We also have our Soul of Motown show, mm. which is a concert of Motown's greatest hits and artists. Uh, one of the top five rated shows in the area for a decade now. Wow. Uh, and yeah. we have our Hit Parade show, which is our ultimate jukebox review. It's uh, <laughs> music of the 50s and 60s and a special appearance by Elvis. Uh -huh. um, and I'm in that show as well, so I sing and dance in that one, or give my best attempt to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, He's so uh, modest. <laughs> don't believe him. <laughs> and then we have our uh, Hazard Hoedown show, which is a musical parody of the Dukes of Hazard. Uh, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. But it's so fun. <laughs> but it is. It's. I. I sometimes struggle with. Am I having more fun than anybody else? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Uh, I have that's not a stroll. That's the way it's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, that's good. So. That's good. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's a lot of fun. So, so yeah. what are you in in the the hoedown? Show? I play Boss Hog. You know, I was going to guess that because you look like you could play a perfect Boss Hog. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> no. no? Uh, oh, you need to have so much fun with it. You uh, know, I need a little bit more. Pride. Oh, no, don't go there. <laughs> you know, <I> mean, <laughs> Give me another month or two, you know? <laughs> well, come over. You can sub for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, it really is a lot of fun. And Terry was talking about watching audience members um, and their reactions and how uh, what you do on stage and what you do out there in the world makes such an impression on, on kids. Sure. Um, of course, with the theater right now, we're not doing any kind of audience participation uh, just for safety reasons and social <coughs> distancing. Right. Uh, for the Hazard Show, we we did try to do, and, and we will probably continue to do, a socially distanced meet and greet because we found that by the end of the show, people who didn't know these characters before were in love with them. You know, they just, w they wanted to talk to Boss Hogg. They wanted to meet Daisy Duke. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And uh, this past week's uh, show, after the show, uh, we had a small group of kids that were there, and um, we were doing our socially distant meet and greet, and the kids wanted to talk to Boss Hogg. Even though he's the bad guy, mm -hmm. they still wanted to talk to Boss Hogg, uh, and they were trying to get their T-shirt uh, autographed, <laughs> they got everybody's autograph except for Boss Hog, and I said, "Well, you know, do you want Boss to sign it too?" And they're like, mm, "I don't know. You tried to take Uncle Jesse's farm, <laughs> and I'm so it just it became so you know real to them." Yeah. Um, so I pulled out a wad of uh, hundred dollar bills with Boss Hog's picture on it. I paid each of the kids, and then they got my autograph. So oh, how um, cool! You. Some people say you can't buy love, but I beg to differ. <laughs> There's a price. <laughs> there is a price. There are some occasions, isn't there? There, there are some occasions. <laughs> well, how cool is that? Well, boy, I'll tell you, and one of the things that, that 
Mrs. Claus and I intend to do is we are going to swing by and and yes. catch every one of the four shows yes. and yes. and see what you guys are are doing so we can talk about it here at Mountain Fun Life yeah. and and other shows and and of course we yeah. might be looking for other reasons you know we do have well, a yeah yeah and uh, um, we might even attempt to do a little live video. We're, yeah, Let's I know. Look at it. There's surprise. <laughs> yeah, look at the surprise. Out there. <laughs> what? <laughs> and well, you should look surprised. <laughs> we're still. Uh, you the might elves say, are better at it than yeah, we are, but we are learning. You know, honing our learning. skills at that. But, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but we do. Uh, we do do a little bit uh, about that as well. Um, and you know, we mentioned uh, Terry's uh, um, website. Hannah, can you bring that up on the screen, please? Yeah, we uh, just uh, this. I mean, if you want to know about the Grand Majestic and its shows, yes. including, mm -hmm. of course, Terry's show. Yes, this is. Um, uh, I have this up, and this is uh, the Grand Majestic Theater website, which is mm -hmm. thegrandmajestic.com. So you want to pull that up, and there is Terry. But I'm just going to come up here, and there, there's now, the. Now, who oh, might that be? You know hey. that. You know that. I don't know. That, that looks like Boss Hog to me. He does, doesn't oh, he? Yeah, yeah. And then we have. Let's see if my cursor will move. Come on. There we go. We got the hit parade, and then of course the Motown. solo Motown. So, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now. Well, this this, if you don't mind, I'll no. tell you a little bit about this. This is actually our new campaign, uh, marketing campaign for the theater. Um, a lot of times you just see commercials and stuff for theaters, and we pride ourselves on all four of our shows having a connection to our audience. Um, and this year we have started this new program called The Invitation. So we're inviting you to participate in our shows with us. So we invite you to come sing. We invite you to come dance. We invite you to laugh. We invite you to marvel. Um, your invitation to entertainment awaits at the Grand Majestic. It's not just about coming and sitting and seeing a show. It's about being a part of it. And even though right now we have to be socially distanced, there is still no reason why you can't sing in your seat and you can't dance sure. in your seat and you absolutely. can't sit there and be sure. absolutely amazed and yeah. have that connection with what's going on on stage. So your invitation awaits as well. Please come. We invite you to come sing, dance, laugh, and marvel with and us. And what I want to add to what you're saying is that all shows, all the four shows at the, the Majestic, they're all a family-oriented show, mm -hmm. uh, which, and I mean not just uh, in the, the material, but the way it's accepted. Kids will love the hit parade and mm -hmm. the, all of the other shows at the Majestic. The lights, the sound, the entertainment, uh, just an amazing show, the Motown show. And uh, your show, uh, the one that you're at, the, uh, the, the hazard. Boss, ho uh, boss Hog, oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I walked in the back of the theater the other day, and I, I think you delivered one line, mm. and I, I was hee-hawing. <laughs> <laughs> so although a lot of people think that magic is just for kids, it couldn't be further from the truth. The kids love magic, but the best part is that adults leave the theater feeling that sense of wonder right. and delight that they hadn't felt in a long time. So it's not as if the magic show is for kids and right. the, the music shows are for adults. All four shows are designed on purpose to accommodate and entertain all ages. The entire family. Well, Mrs. Claus will tell you, she's always one of those that, that, that's hitting me, you know, in <laughs> musical shows. So I guarantee if I get into the hit parade or something, you will hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I and know the signature You can't laugh. help it. I yeah. mean, you know, and I'll be sitting there it. singing Santa, away. Santa definitely, definitely I, loves uh, to sing. And, <laughs> and uh, well, and I, I think, you know, that's, um, I'm really glad that you brought that up because, uh, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on the COVID, but, you know, even though this is a, a serious time right now for us, but how wonderful to attend a show like this where you can put that all aside, you can go in, you can just enjoy. And, right. and life is still here. Life is can be enjoyed. There's no reason why we can't go out and enjoy life and participate 
in something like this. So, and since the Majestic Theater is taking all of the responsibilities yes. mm -hmm. and re yes. precautions of keeping you safe, yes, there's no reason why you can't just go out no. and enjoy yourself That's right. and yes. and Absolutely. really yeah. feel good. And this. Yeah. If there's any time that we've needed something like this, it's now. It's now. It's, it's and, we, and we need that entertainment. There's we need an escape. We that's, do. That's right. what live entertainment, like what you provide yes. and yes. what we provide in the Majestic, it's an opportunity to escape from reality. And again, not just the magic show. All, All entertainment provides mm -hmm. people that escape yes. that we so desperately need, especially in this environment. Absolutely. Right. And, and, uh, uh, just before we forget, because we sometimes do that, but tell us now where the Grand Majestic is so that people yes. know and, how and to And a little it. bit about the show times and, and days Absolutely. and stuff, please. Absolutely. Uh, Grand Majestic Theater is on the parkway here in Pigeon Forge, 2330 Parkway. Uh, we are at traffic light number one, right next door to the brand new Sunliner Diner yeah. uh, and across from the Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. So if you're from the South, you always know where the Cracker Barrel is at. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's it's, true. It's, it's the a closest rule. one. <laughs> yes. Uh, and uh, our phone number is 865-774-7777. There's a lot of sevens in that. That number again. Yeah. That number again is 865-774-7777. Boy, does that like a commercial. Right? <laughs> oh, by um, the way, Chris Payton says, I seen the hazard hoedown and you are a great boss and a great thank reflection you. of humor and fun. So thank you. Thank you. There you go. And, <laughs> thank you. And then Chris has a question for Terry. Did all the other performers move to the new location with you? That's a good question. They, they did. Everyone in the Magic Show has joined us. I've been very fortunate to have the same you know, key group for mm -hmm. many years, uh, for the last 10 years for sure, some of them longer, uh, which is import, uh, important to me and also a reflection that like what I said, we're we're just not fellow coworkers. We're a You're family. A family, right? You know, mm, yeah. we're not just friends. Mm -hmm. We're we're a family that make the magic together. So we can kind of read each other's mind on stage and know if there's an issue or something's becoming difficult or there's a challenge coming up. Uh, it's not like we have to have this conversation. There's a mm -hmm. there's a, a a energy between us that really helps bring the show to life. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I was going to say, too, um, uh, speaking back on COVID, yes. it has obviously changed the way entertainment is presented uh, and even how businesses operate. As a small independent business that our theater is, we obviously had to make some changes uh, to our operating procedures based around what's happening yeah. to make not just our staff safe but our guests coming in as well we want to welcome everybody with open and safe arms uh, one of those things was the theater was formerly a dinner theater where a a, a in fact was it still included. says dinner show out front it does yeah I'm, i got a new sign coming oh good um, <laughs> don't so, want to cause confusion there <laughs> yeah we we made the difficult de decision to discontinue offering the food with the show ticket because it was a buffet and you know, there are certain yeah, concerns they, around you that. You can't do buffets right now. <laughs> right. So um, a lot of our guests uh, don't realize that we actually still have food. So now, while we are no longer operating as a dinner theater, we have become the area's first dine-in theater. So our kitchen is still open. We have a menu that you can order from at Showtime. You can order from the concession stand, or you can order directly from your table using a mobile app and your food is cooked to order and freshly delivered to your table. Isn't that table. fantastic? Oh, oh my that gosh, is. that's that's so what a what huge so improvement. Yeah. This is a, you uh, mentioned a concept that, that Guy has uh, implemented to still bring more to the table for the guests who are literally. coming to the theater. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah literally. And a lot of uh, the repeat business that they get at the Majestic to be able to still have that experience of having a dinner just prior to and during right. the show. Yeah. Oh, and we've got wonderful. some great stuff on the menu. It's more small meal appetizer style uh, items uh -huh. 
chicken tenders and fries, fried right. pickles, some some good southern Easy favorites. Easy finger food, food kind yes. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a mm -hmm. pork barbecue sandwich that will melt in your mouth. Oh, God. Um, uh, we recently, <laughs> this past weekend, we had a chicken and waffle dinner plate that was included on the oh, menu. Oh, wow. Um, so you can still come to the theater and still dine. All the seating in the theater has a table, so you can eat prior to and during the show. It's just not included with your show ticket. So you have the option now. Do I want to go and eat at the theater while I'm watching the show or do I want to eat somewhere else before and then just come see the show? So now well, we and as you mentioned, the well, Sunliner is right across the street if you, if you want to catch an earlier supper yeah. or exactly. later supper. Exactly. And that, that actually is quite nice That's because nice. you're right. It, it, right. That is. Sometimes you would prefer to eat before or after. They have after. an option, at yeah. least this way. Exactly. Where they're not locked into a certain ticket price that would also right. you know, include the dinner. They have an option. Which is the best way you can provide that? Yeah, yeah, yeah that no, that's and, great. And is the safest for both your it patrons is. and yeah. your staff. It is. Yeah. So it is. Yeah. what? What a nice idea, Thank guy yeah, that's, boy. Thank you very, that's, much. very well done. I know, yeah. That's brilliant. That's what? brilliant. That's cool. <laughs> so and now, Terry, you're going to be um, debuting August first. August first at correct? two o'clock. Uh, the w it's an easy way to remember our schedule, uh, as uh, you remember years ago. If you can remember the letter T, here it is. It's Terry at 2 on Tuesday, Thursday, and there's a T on Saturday. Ta-da. Uh -huh. So just remember the letter T. Okay. <laughs> Terry at 2 o'clock, Tuesday, Thursday, and a T on Saturday. So you can't forget the, the schedule for the magic show. T yeah. for 2. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so when uh, let's just since we've talked about all the shows, mm -hmm. uh, if you don't mind, let us know when your uh, other Absolutely. shows are on as well. Obviously, Terry Show again Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at two p.m. starting this Saturday. Uh, our Soul of Motown performances happen six days a week, Monday through Saturday. It alternates between eight p.m. and a five p.m. time slot. Okay. Uh, our hazard show is usually twice a week on Wednesday and Saturday at 5 o'clock. And our hit parade show is three to four times a week, alternating uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday uh, at 5 or 8. So the schedule gets a little confusing, but uh, it is available on our website, thegrandmajestic.com. All the way at the bottom of the page, you can click on a calendar and check out any of the show dates between now and the end of the year. And then I think you were um, talking about earlier that they need to buy tickets at the show. Is that correct? correct? Yeah, they can't buy it online. Correct. Is that correct? Online yeah. sales have been removed right now because we, we like offering reserved seating. But unfortunately, with social distancing, it's really hard to leave it up to the general public to right. book their seats and know uh, a safe amount of distance to be from other individuals. Um, so you call the theater directly uh, to book your seats and that way we can guarantee that we're putting you in an appropriate socially distanced uh, seating arrangement okay, uh, and that's just for the comfort of everybody involved because if you just book it online you'll end up sitting in somebody's lap and who knows <laughs> well yeah we don't, we, that we don't need all. that and you don't need the confusion either no. so you know no. because you know, if everybody gets there and it's like, well, no, no, you can't have those seats. You can have these that's seats. Right. Yeah. You know, that's right. It's easier just to get it taken care of <laughs> at the theater. Yeah. And everybody winds up being happy mm -hmm. this way and no confusion about. So thank you for taking the extra precautions Absolutely. on yeah. this and yeah. for making sure that everybody stays safe, including yourselves. So because we want you out there and performing. So. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not sitting at home. No. Uh, okay. Well, boy, so much information, and, and, and I'm sure there's a bunch ah. more out there that, let me just check and make sure nobody, okay. Oh, Fred Michael says Terry is an awesome guy. Oh, oh Fred and, and we already thank knew you. that, so, you know. And <laughs> thank again, you. thank you for, thank for you. tuning in and watching. Now, just to, to kind of bring you up to speed, again, Wow, have we got some exciting baseball action happening or yes. what? Oh my yeah, gosh, almost yeah. daily. The East Tennessee High School Baseball mm -hmm. Association mm -hmm. that's, playing at, the that's playing at the Smokies right yeah. now. Yeah. And things are, are really heating up. We're into the we're into the uh, championships now. Yeah. So Rich Haley is broadcasting live 
on those shows. Yeah. So, boy, if you want to catch some good baseball action, pay attention to Mountain Fun Life and, yeah. and check out when Rich is on because uh, we're, we're bringing all those games to you live. Yeah, make sure you like uh, Mountain Fun Life and then you'll automatically uh, get uh, notifications, a notification yeah. of, of when whoever the next and whatever is on. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then uh, Thursday, of course, we have Frank and Kira. Frank and Kira show. Uh, and hopefully and Frank will be back this Thursday. Yes, I, I don't, yes. I haven't heard if he's returned from his uh, personal um, issues. Right. But uh, our prayers are with him during this time, and we'll... We're all anxious to have Frank back. So. And then, of course, tomorrow is entertainment with uh, Jim Johnson and uh, James, James Gilly, Gilly, and yes. they always have an exciting show as not well. Not as not as fun as ours. No, but hey, don't we, tell look, him we, we said got, that. We got Terry and, and, I and know. Guy. You know, How do you beat that? So, <laughs> but they have a good show. You, you would enjoy it. So, and then Monday we return again with with Frank and Kira. Yeah. So, and we want to say. Uh, Thank you, thank you, and thank oh, you, you guys to our great. special thank guests. You. We're thank so you. I appreciate thrilled you having us. that and you were able to come and join us, and we've just had it, a wonderful, magical time yes. with <laughs> you this morning. And, and would you thank like you. a little magic? Oh, would oh, you? Could you please, finish could us you, off yes. with that? Well, yeah, I'll do one of my favorite close-up magic tricks. You know, I noticed that you've got your uh, your black grand majestic, and I've got my one of my sparkly. Uh, Liberace starter kits. <laughs> right here. And, uh, I will show you. It's a standard line. You I, have to I, be old enough to appreciate right, yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard rumor. But I'm going to roll back the, uh, the, the old sleeves, which magicians are supposed to do, and show the hands empty. I do want to mention at no time will my fingers ever leave my hands. <laughs> that is for sure. I promise you that. It's true. I had to think true. about that. All right, uh, I'm going to take a little, no, Santa and all the kids, big kids, kids at heart, use your imagination. I'm going to take a little white off my jacket. I know you might not believe it's there, but it's there. Can you see it? Uh, yes. Watch, I can make it disappear. Ta-da. Wow. Okay, that, maybe that wasn't it. I'll try again. That was impressive. Take a little white and place it in. Now, you have a little black. Go ahead and, yeah, place it in. Just place it in the inside. Good. Now, watch closely. I see a little white has <coughs> appeared. <coughs> oh. <coughs> What's Does he still have a jacket? <coughs> oh, for gosh sake! Oh, oh. oh my gosh! <coughs> If only oh. these were dollar bills. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I don't have that frog in my throat anymore. <laughs> so uh, I'll be just uh, in perfect shape for Saturday's show at 2 o'clock at the Grand Majestic Theater. Yes. Very we'll see you there. <laughs> Abracadabra. We're Very well here. done. Well, thank you again, both yes, of you, for being you. here. And thank you. we are going to be excited to come and see you both we there are. on stage. Come on down. So. <laughs> And again, thank you for joining us. And make sure you join us next Tuesday. I don't know if we can beat this, but we're going to try. <laughs> so <laughs> Have a take good care, week. everybody. Be safe and be kind.